All right, good morning, guys. So here's going to be my issue. That is going to be my issue. It's uh, right around 35, 38 degrees outside. I've got a 69 in here, which is fine for painting, but as soon as I kick the fan on, it's going to start sucking the heat out. Um, I can't let it get below 65 degrees in here for the SPI stuff. So, therefore, I would have to paint it, shut the fan off, and then that would probably kick back on at some point to, to warm it back up. And I'd have to keep that cycle going through the sealer, through the paint, and through the clear, which is a problem because every time that kicks on, it's going to blow dust. It's, it's just going to move the air and... It, anything that's floating around is going to land in, in that. It's a direct shot at it. The only way I can get around that is if I was to actually put some kind of plastic across this um, or get a curtain of some sort or whatever. And that's probably not going to happen <clears throat> at least anytime soon. Uh, anyway, so Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and finish working on this today. Uh, let's see, Thursday. I'll, I'll be at the fire station tomorrow. Thursday, um, it's supposed to be up to 72 degrees, and so that will be good for this. I'll be able to to do to go ahead and paint this Thursday. Um, I just I think I'm gonna bite myself in the butt if I try to paint this today with that thing kicking on and off on and off on and off even if I wet the floor and everything it's still I mean when that thing kicks on this thing flutters well when that flutters if you ever look in the sunlight you can see the just the small dust particles just float around or whatever you want to call them particles of dust I guess um, but yeah it just moving around in here stirs up stuff in the air so trying not to repeat what I had happened before especially on two of these I might be better off to go ahead and wait until Thursday um, come in seal them and paint them and, and, and clear them that way that thing stays off the air in here stays relatively calm and um, that's kind of kind of be my plan for for today now it may change it may warm up to 67 degrees today and i may go ahead and paint it later on this afternoon if that happens then i probably will but for now i'm gonna go ahead and uh continue to play with this a little bit so see ya all right i got tired of grinding on this plus grinding throws lots of dust and stuff so we're gonna do it this way these air saws I did it on the other side. Worked great. And you can see what I've done here. Probably yelling. What I'm trying to do is cut this back so this doesn't crawl. This this right here is a little peel. And it starts actually farther than I actually originally thought it did. It actually comes out to you grab a marker. It's funny how I see stuff when the camera's on and I'm like, oh, okay. So, yeah, that literally is the hill starting. in there. So I'm going to take all of this off all the way down through here. And the hill stops so there's no hill up here. Of course there is back here it starts again so I'll have to cut this off. I'm going to take that air saw and run right down through there and drop this and see how close I am. I'm trying to need, I've got to leave enough to where I can weld this to this but I'm also trying to drop it. Uh, and while it's climbing up that hill, it's causing this gap. All right, here we go. It's going to get loud. Make the inside of this look perfect to match the interior leather. We've got to make sure we have a spray on it. 
flat clear <coughs> and uh, Just a little bit there. So it's always really nice to have the guy that took it apart, marked everything, there, put it back together. Justin's not here today, and Kevin's having some issues with the apparent markings of some of these bird cap shacks. It's like super close. That's probably a 16, 16 to an 8, maybe. I'm not sure I could take a little bit more right there. Yeah, I'm going to take a little bit more out of there. Let's see if I can pull that on down just a bit. It looks like it went a little fat right there. And it's coming down. I'll bring you back. All right, guys, like I mentioned before, no painting today. We're going to paint this Thursday. It's supposed to be 72 degrees, so that thing, uh, I'll get it nice and warm in here, and then I'll paint, and it should be, we should be good to go. I think it's just a better day. I don't want to bite myself. Yeah, I get in a hurry, and then that's when shit starts messing up. So, um, hmm, oh, yeah. Got this all done, pretty much. I've got a tiny, tiny, I mean, it's just... It's so small, you can hardly even see it. But yeah, it's 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 worked to to cut this back, and of course I got to pull that in with a. I took those off because I rolled it back underneath the car. I went ahead. What I've been working on here is I went ahead and cut this piece off. That was on my inner brace. Um, Yeah, anyway, it was up here like this. So I went ahead and cut it off because I've got to put this panel here in. And so that'll fit up in here like that. Now, it's not exactly the same shape, so what I'm probably going to do is get it real close, like probably try to fit this ass end in here like that and get it really nice uh, let's see how I can do that I gotta try to fit it in there the best I can get everything probably about like that and then you can see here on this side there's a little bit of extra that I'll describe a line and trim that off same with the top up here and then I can push that down a little bit to meet it but that should be a real clean 
once that's all welded in and, and ground down, it should be real clean. So that's that side. Of course, I have to pop holes. I don't know if you guys know how this works, but basically you're going to put holes here, or not holes, you're going to put holes in this thing, but weld to this piece, this brace, this brace here, uh, and then ultimately up here. But uh, that's kind of where, the, where you hold that closeout panel on, according to what they show with DSE. And it'll also weld on down here as well. So, and then whatever's hanging off of it, I may go ahead and just carve that off and make this really a nice clean piece, kind of like what I've done there. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of what I start playing with today because um, I really didn't want to make a mess grinding and stuff, which, yeah, I've done everything I've done so far, I've done with these two tools. I've done no grinding at all. This is all just air saw where the pieces are just falling down here in the floor. So I'll sweep that up. And uh, I've been throwing anything up in the air around, you know, dust and all that kind of stuff. At least the best of my knowledge. But yeah, that's a lot of whittling. That's like taking a knife to a freaking tree and whittling a toothpick. <laughs> it's a little bit at a time you know but it's uh and once i smooth that up it'll look way better it's kind of you know a little choppy looking stuff but I'll, once i can grind i'll go ahead and smooth the space out real nice and then i'll bust it all back apart and i still have to uh epoxy the inside of that because it's rusted you remember from the factory and epoxy all those pieces and then sandwich them all back together and weld them up and then put that back on and weld it on and so we've got this pretty well where it needs to be i will in fact roll this back under the car um, one final time mock everything back up mini tubs everything set everything down into place lock everything down and then i will come back here and go ahead and drill my 3 16 holes you know, maybe, I don't know, three here, and maybe one here, and a couple on top, and then same on the other side. That way this will fit right back down into the same spot every time. And I don't have to worry about, you know, uh, readjusting each time. I'll have it exactly, kind of what, same thing I did with these here. Same thing. So, um, what else? What else? What else? All right. Uh, yeah. I got a little bit of a mess clean up. All those were on top of this, and they all fell through these <laughs> these holes and went all over the floor. Funny how you running stuff on, you know, it vibrates the whole thing and it all falls in the floor like that. All right. Um, yeah. Um, just had a guy comment on the video, said he has a C10 he's getting ready to do. That's funny because uh, I just drove this today. I went to lunch and... Man, it's so much fun. I, I just absolutely cannot tell you how much I love that vehicle. It is just absolutely so fun. Even as ugly as that thing is right now, I get thumbs up all the time. I get. I had a teenage girl ask me if she could buy it from me. I'm thinking, really? Um, I mean, the thing is just rusted pieces, but it still drives nice. It still runs good. It, you know, it's it's just fun and it, it turns heads as ugly as that thing is it turns head almost a rat rod if you will kind of thing but anyway well i'm gonna move that back underneath the car and get ready to head out because uh my wife's not home and my nurse is getting ready to leave and uh more and more people are finding them all right